And with that being said, our lead story of the day is California Congressman Adam Schiff, who's a nutso, the guy's loony, said Sunday that he believes there is sufficient evidence to criminally charge Donald Trump in relation to his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Look, even if there was some sort of evidence to actually put this man behind bars, I don't think the evidence is sufficient enough. But again, this guy's loony, folks. This whole January 6th clown show theater performance that they're pulling here is just ridiculous. It's a bunch of shenanigans. Schiff's dramatic statement on CNN's State of the Union, of course, he's going to detail it out on CNN, came one day before the House January 6th Select Committee, to which he belongs to, is poised to release an outline of its extensive investigation. <laughs> sure it is. Report on the U.S. Capitol attack, which has been linked to nine deaths, including the suicides of traumatized law enforcement officers. The committee is expected to use its last meeting on Monday to refer Trump, as well as others, to the U.S. Justice Department in relation to former president's attempts to reverse his 2020 defeat to Joe Biden. What I think is amazing of this all is ever since this man has gone down the escalator, they've been going after him. Literally anything and everything they've been trying to pull from government resources to put this man behind bars. And what I find astonishing is if you look from the Obama administration on the espionage, utilizing the IRS to go after political opponents, I mean, the Iran nuclear deal. I mean, you look at all the stuff, AF, ATF, the Fast and Furious case, the Trayvon Martin stuff. Like if you go down the list of all the craziness that happened in the Obama administration, of which we have the receipts for, the actual emails, the lying that Eric Holder did, nothing there, nothing whatsoever. And you look at Joe Biden, you're telling me there's nothing criminal going on with Joe Biden? You're telling me with all the evidence that we actually have, the video, the emails, the links, him saying stuff on camera, the quid pro quos multiple times, that there's no investigations, but they're going to continue this charade? Our government is so freaking corrupt, and you don't have to look any further than the Democrat Party. You don't have to look any, I'm not saying the Republican Party isn't corrupt in some way, shape, or form, but by God, man, that Democrat Party is disgusting. That is, that is some deep, deep corruption. During this final meeting, the panel is, ex is expected to outline an executive summary of its findings, propose legislative recommendations, because who the hell is going to take recommendations for freaking Adam Schiff and the other lefties on that panel, vote to adopt the report, and then vote on possible criminal and civil referrals. Schiff is one of nine members seven of whom are Democrats like him serving on the January 6th committee, meaning seven of the nine are loony bin folks. They're crazy. They're psychos. The political referrals involving Trump are expected to involve obstruction of an official congressional proceeding, as well as conspiracy to defraud the United States. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> conspiracy to defraud the United States. Unbelievable. Look at the guy that's in office now. If you want to talk to defrauding the United States, look at the guy that's freaking in office. The guy that was sending our own petroleum reserve to a province in China that his own son has investments in. Yeah, no, d d don't get me going with all the other stuff from the Hunter Biden laptop in conjunction with the FBI, the DOJ is doing with Twitter of silencing political opponents, silencing a sitting president, right? Don't, don't even get me going with it, folks. The political referrals involving Trump are expected to involve instruction of obstruction of an official congressional proceedings, again, as well as conspiracy. I just love that word. I had to read it again. <laughs> I had to read it again. Schiff told CNN host Jake Tapper, who's just a trusted news source, by the way, that he can't comment on specifics of any possible referrals. Oh, hmm. Because Adam Schiff's never been known to lie before. That that's way out of his ballpark. The predicted criminal referrals are effectively symbolic. Yes, you heard that correctly. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to laugh because this is such a freaking clown show. The predicted criminal referrals are effectively a symbolic, are symbolic because Congress can't force prosecutors to pursue charges. Quote, I think the evidence is there that uh, Trump committed criminal offenses in connection with his efforts to overturn the election. And viewing it as a former prosecutor, I think there's sufficient evidence to charge the former president. Tapper asked if whether this was enough to secure a conviction. Well, I don't know. Mr. Former Prosecutor doesn't know if it is or isn't, but there's sufficient evidence here. Like I said, this is all theatrics, folks. This is all political. Well, I don't know what the Justice Department has. I do know what's in the public record. The evidence seems pretty plain to me, but I would want to see the full body of evidence. 
if I were in the prosecutor's shoes to make a decision, but this is someone who in multiple ways tried to pressure state officials to find votes that didn't exist. This is someone who tried to interfere with a joint session, even inciting a mob to attack the Capitol, which is false. That has been proved false time and time again, but they're going to keep pushing it. If that's not criminal, then, then I don't know what is. I don't know. Why aren't you looking at your own party, man? Like since its inception of all the criminal activity you guys pull all the time, but you won't investigate your own party. Asked whether he thought Trump would face criminal charges, Schiff said this. The short answer is, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, you got, well, well, maybe, I have no idea. But you have this whole January 6th committee. You're an insane loony bin. And you don't even know, you don't even know this. It's, um, like I said, it's such a charade. It is such a joke. But it's not going to stop them from pushing this. Wait till he runs again. It's just going to continue and continue and to continue. I mean, how, you have to really look back and just, Look at a holistic view of Trump in general. He's had the weight of the federal government and state governments, by the way, on him since he went down the escalators and they haven't found anything. Let that sink in. There has never been enough evidence to indict this man, put him from a grand jury or put him behind bars or anything like that. Out of everything that we've seen, can you imagine just for a moment that we had half of what the government's doing to Trump on Hillary Clinton or Joe Biden? Just the skeletons in that closet, folks, would come spilling out just half the effort, but they won't do it. It's, a, it's amazing. It, it's so one-sided and it's so out there in the open and nobody cares. The Democrats don't, literally Democrats, people that vote that direction, don't give a two until it happens to them. And it will. It will happen to them. I'm telling you, when that shoe's on the other foot, they're going to try to kick it off quicker than you've ever seen before. That simply should not be the case. But I find it hard otherwise to explain why almost two years from the events of January 6th and with the evidence that's already in the public domain, why the Justice Department hasn't moved more quickly than it has. Because they haven't found anything, Schiff, you idiot. But they're going to continue to push this. And it's not just coming from Schiff. You have the Georgia investigation into whether Donald Trump and his allies illegally interfered in the 2020 election is approaching a stage where charges could be recommended. You're hearing this could I don't know, maybe, like I said, theatrics. I know I'm repeating myself, but that's literally what it is. It's just a clown show. It's nothing burger. An Atlanta area special grand jury requested by Fulton County District Attorney is nearing its end after multiple high profile witnesses offered testimony, according to multiple reports. The panel, which has the authority to subpoena witnesses and documents, but not issue indictments, is now putting together a final report, which may include recommendations for criminal charges. A group of Fulton County judges would first review the report from the 23 jurors before Willis would make a decision about whether to pursue charges by impaneling a separate grand jury. I don't think it's going to happen. If it does, nothing's going to come of it. Just similar to all the stuff that you're seeing, nothing's going to come up of it. The people that are the most loony bins have no idea if there's really anything there, but they're saying their things there. Typical. Lindsey Graham, former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, and Trump's former personal lawyer Rudy Giuliani are among those who testified before the grand jury after losing legal fights against subpoenas. Now, I think they would have shown up regardless, but they're trying to make matters hard on them because they're making life hard on not just all three of them, but also on the Trump administration and his kids. So make life hard for them too. Willis, a Democrat, began an investigation after the surfacing of a phone call audio, which we've heard this time and time again, and we just covered it with Adam Schiff, recording which Trump pressed Georgia Secretary of State Brad uh, Raffsenberger to find 11,780 votes, enough to reverse his election loss to now President Joe Biden in the state. Trump has defended the call as perfect and broadly rejected claims of wrongdoing. I'm not saying it was a perfect phone call. I'm not saying it was a little suspicious. That's not what I'm saying. But for you to just say, hey, find 11,780 votes, it's not like he's saying, hey, go create them. I mean, you have to read into that. And again, those that are going after Trump are going to read into it in the way that they want to read into it of this man's criminal. He's telling them, to create 11,780 80, uh, uh, ballots and, and bubble them in. But what's amazing about this, they're going to do an investigation on a phone call, but they're not going to do an investigation of what took place during the actual election where you had a dude that has a, a cognitive mindset of a gnat sitting in his basement and somehow winning the election, even though there's actual records that show that people voted from places that don't physically exist. They're out in the middle of the desert. They're literally properties that where a freeway is built. There's dead people that voted. There's some shady business going on. They're not going to look at that, but they're going to look at this. A little corrupt? Just a little bit. The CNN report said the prosecutor's investigation has expanded to examine election fraud claims 
made to state lawmakers and alternative elector schemes, efforts to gain unauthorized access to voting machines and threats to election workers. These alternative electors, along with Giuliani, have been informed that they are targets of Willis's investigation. But like I said, they're not going to go after anything else. Part of the Democrat side of stuff. It's just all GOP. GOP officials have insisted the court filings that they did not break any laws and signed certificates declaring themselves as Trump electors to pave the way for Trump had legal challenges in Georgia managed to overturn the results. So there's a lot of stuff that's coming out here. It's a theatric. It's all smoke, no fire. But let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I have a feeling you're all siding kind of where I'm at on this. It's a nothing burger. It's theatrics. Can't wait for it to be done. When he runs in 2024, there'll be more. Trust me, folks. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.